I know what you're probably asking yourself. You're probably asking yourself, why is Denobi 2 reviewing a desk lamp? Well, look, uh, here's the thing, all right? Uh, this is going to be a semi kit bash in an attempt to make a flight stand. A flight stand specifically for the Iron Man diecast series, all right? I've uh, run into an issue. I need a flight stand. I need a durable, sturdy flight stand. Not those little tchotchke things that uh, uh, are sold on eBay and, and come with uh, the Hot Toys Iron Man figures. So I've decided to take it upon myself to build, to repurpose a cheap uh, $16 desk lamp from Amazon uh, into a more sturdy, durable, dependable flight stand that serves the diecast suit, uh, its purpose, uh, its glory, its its everything that is good with a diecast Iron Man figure from Hot Toys. <laughs> All right, if I, if I'm done rambling enough, let's uh, let's kind of dig into this. You, it is a desk lamp. Uh, and uh, it's this is this is a really this is an easy little kit bash. I'm essentially going to remove the lamp part uh, out of the actual. It's the arm. It's the extendable, durable uh, steel or aluminum arm that I really need. Everything else that is included with this desk lamp to me is trash. Just simply trash. So I'm gonna start off by removing the actual lamp part cutting off the power supply and carefully removing the lamp uh, out of its uh, socket. Uh, a quick little fact, this is not the first time I've done this. This is my second attempt at making a flight stand for a die-cast Iron Man figure. Uh, I decided to change up the brands and I think I'm going to stick with the other brand that I ended up using. Uh, they're both, these lamps are both pretty cheap. They're, like I said, 16 to 17 dollars and uh, uh, they're very easy to mod. As I tend to have screws and bolts and knickknacks laying around the, the house, especially in the garage, so I'm able to make things work. This little joint here, I need this part, this little joint that's sticking out of the, uh, the lamp. I had to use my little baby handsaw and uh, cut the plastic tip off so I can slip off the joint. I'm going to call that a joint. I think it's a joint. The joint that gets reattached to the actual lamp part. I need that right there because that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the those uh, waist grabbers that come with every Iron Man figure or is pretty much any Hot Toys figure. I need this part. This is the part that I'm going to recycle from one of my leftover die casts and I'm going to use a little bit of elbow grease here and slip it in there into that to that uh, joint right there. It's a little bit uh, and, and again you can use your imagination. The whole idea of this little quick video is, is that uh, these desk lamp arms make great flight stands. Now this is a bolt and screw I had left over from the first lamp that I ended up buying from Amazon and I'm gonna take I discovered that this actual steel bolt screws right in helps uh, secure the waist grabber for the 1-6 figure and it, it creates a nice tight seal there you can kind of see that right there and then I can use the bottom portion uh, the little thingamajig I'm gonna call it a thingamajig all right apologies here please don't don't uh, crucify me here you can kind of see that the steel arm acts as a, as a kind of a hinge and works beautifully supporting my uh, die-cast Mark 46 Hot Toys. And I think I did a good job. The whole project took maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It's the whole idea of making a little short video here. And it works. And you can kind of see that uh, it uh, it's, it's glorious and beautiful. Uh, also, this whole flight stand mechanical arm type deal I have going on here does not work for detox. This is more of if you want to pose your die cast figure on a shelf, on a table. Uh, for me, the whole idea of doing this is so that I can uh, capitalize on the uh, flight space inside my module cases. 
uh, so that uh, my suits create the illusion of flight because it's a black desk arm and against a black backdrop it blends in uh, it kind of looks like he's kind of hovering there it, uh, that's my concept mark 46 and you can kind of see that it's my that's my first desk arm flight stand there that I created did I make a video on that I decided to use make a video on the second flight arm and uh, it works it works really great so now that I have my flight stand ready for my second suit I'm gonna be using it for my diecast uh, war machine mark 4 and I'm running at the weight test right now on the mark 3 war machine from uh, Civil War there you go that's a Civil War suit right there you can kind of see right there and uh, it supports the weight very nice it's looking good it's looking like he's up in the sky going pew 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 I think I'm ready to review the Mark IV war machine now.